Welcome to News Watch 12 at 6. I'm Justin Betty. We'll get to those stories just a little bit, but first we have uh, an interesting, might say an eventful day in the weather department. News Watch 12 Chief Meteorologist Jeff Weller joins us now live in the Weather Center to break it all down for us. Jeff. Hey Justin, yeah, we're watching the skies closely outside right now for the potential for some severe weather. It is not a done deal. Uh, there's lots of fuel in the atmosphere though. Look at these temperatures. It's 85 currently in Chicago. Meanwhile, it's 46 in Green Bay. The difference in temperatures is fuel for thunderstorms and they're breaking out as we speak out there right now. So the radar is beginning to fill in. There's nothing severe in here, but notice how quickly they're moving. There is lots of energy in the atmosphere right now and notice how the New ones as they bubble up have lightning attached to them. That means there's updrafts with them. Thus, they're intensifying and moving to the northeast about 35 miles per hour. So it's going to get a little loud around here tonight uh, with potential for some severe weather. Although that threat is actually very low. We could see some very gusty winds, some small hail and vivid lightning as well. The actual system is still way back in parts of Minnesota. It'll take all night to get through our area tonight into tomorrow morning. So look for a potentially some heavy rainfall tonight along with some small hail and gusty winds. Your full forecast is coming up, Justin. All right, thanks, Jeff. As the weather gets warmer, and I promise it will eventually get warmer, as the weather gets warmer, many people will be heading out into the outdoor playground that is the North Woods. But as News Watch 12's Megan Mamlock reports, there are some things people should do to play outside safely, especially in the woods, and that has nothing to do with COVID-19, Megan. Thanks, Justin. It is highly recommended to wear long sleeves and bright colors, unlike my outfit right now, to prevent tick bites. And at Aspires Rhinelander Clinic, they've already seen cases of Lyme disease this season. A tick bite doesn't always look how it should, but then again, it also can be tough to find. It doesn't always have to be the bullseye rash. Sometimes we see atypical rashes and we're like, what in the world is this? We test people for Lyme and it comes back positive. It is recommended that anytime you're outside, even with pets, that you check your skin as ticks tend to hide in folds of skin like armpits and the groin area. If you know that you've had a tick on you and we suspect that it's been on you for longer than 24 to 48 hours, we can treat you prophylactically, meaning we can give you a course of antibiotics that you can take for right away and it's a short duration and that hopefully will prevent Lyme disease from developing. Some other signs and symptoms of Lyme disease is fever, aches and pains, extreme fatigue, headaches and even confusion. If Lyme disease is not detected early, it can lead to long-term effects on your cardiovascular system, nervous system and fibromyalgia to name a few, but there are easy preventable measures. Wear DEET, wear bug spray, wear things like that. You can treat your clothes with permethrin before you're going outside. You don't want to put that directly on your skin, but again, you can treat your clothes and that will help repel some of the ticks. You can also wear long sleeves and long pants in light colors so you are able to find ticks more easily. They sell these things called tick twisters on Amazon. They work really great. We actually have them here at the clinic. You just hook it right underneath the tick and pull straight out. Miller stated that contrary to popular belief, you don't actually have to get the whole body of the tick out. The head doesn't really transmit Lyme disease once you get the bulk of it out. It's important for people to know that it takes time for your body to build those antibodies to show a positive test for Lyme disease. But if we suspect that you have Lyme disease, sometimes we will just go ahead and give you the treatment for it because we know it's so prevalent up here. If you suspect you have been bitten by a tick, you are urged to visit your doctor to get tested to prevent any long-term effects. Justin. All right, thanks, Megan. One Northwoods trade school is getting some national recognition this month. The Advanced Welding Institute in Eagle River was recently named the third best welding institute in the country by a group called Waterworks. One of the instructors there says 99% of their students get jobs in the welding field once they complete the program. Welding actually takes you a lot more than just welding. It's, um, it opens so many doors. Um, it's a good start to, like I said, many different opportunities. Uh, you become an inspector, um, you become an educator. Um, I mean, you can go all the way up engineering. They currently have 11 students in the program. This fall, it's the next round, they have room for up to 56. One of the students currently in the program says he's really enjoying his experience. Just getting well-rounded and everything, really, because I, you never really know what job opportunities are going to come up, and being comfortable and able to go into those I think is a pretty big thing to be able to do a lot of different stuff. The Advanced Welding Institute recently moved from their location on Highway 17 to Enterprise Way off Highway 70, which is closer to Eagle River.
Across the country, many states are starting to use the single-dose Johnson & Johnson vaccine again after getting the green light from the CDC on Friday. But not Wisconsin, at least not yet. Maria Blau reports. For anyone looking to get a dose of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine in Wisconsin, it's going to be a little bit longer. We'll still go through a couple more federal steps and a state step. Hopefully by the middle of this week and we'll be able to start using J&J &J again. Dr. Shook Rai with Purveya Health says the CDC's approval on Friday was the first step. Before the J&J &J vaccine will return to the state, vaccinators like Purveya will take part in a call with the CDC and go over new recommendations for administering the shot. Rye says although the CDC's research didn't show a correlation between the vaccine and blood clots, Provea providers will continue to take precautions. Just in case, we're still going to ask patients to monitor for those typical signs of blood clots, such as you know leg pain, swelling, abdominal pain, headaches, uh, the sign of low platelets, what we call petechiae or red spots on you. Extremely rare occurrences, but we'll have a chance to educate around that when we give this vaccine. Nationally, 8% of people who got the first shot have been unable or are choosing to skip the second one, according to the CDC. Katie Vandries, a nurse midwife with the Marshfield Clinic Health System, says you need both shots for full impact. So we definitely want you to get the first dose. You're going to get some immunity, but the real impact that we see is with that second dose. And so to combat all the variants that are happening, get that stronger immunity, get that second dose. Health experts say whether you get a two-shot vaccine or the J&J &J vaccine when it becomes available again, vaccinations are key to returning to normal. In other news, following last night's storms, officials of the Raptor Education Group, Inc. at Anago say multiple loons were found injured and brought into them. Today, a few of them were released. News Watch 12's Rachel Eiler joins us now live from Pelican Lake with more on what led to these issues. Rachel. Hey, Justin. Yeah, those three loons that were released here at Keeler's Landing didn't sustain as many injuries as some of the others are currently recovering from. All of them were trying to migrate back up from the south from Florida, but due to last night's storms, the weather conditions caused them to experience something that's called loon icing, and ultimately it makes them unable to fly. Um, there's icing coming down, and the loons, as they're traveling through that, get ice on themselves. And at one point, they can't fly anymore, so they become kind of a, they become kind of encased in it, and then they fall to the ground. And again, those three that were released didn't have many injuries. However, Reggie is currently treating about five others with more extensive injuries, such as lung damage. Gibson told Newswatch 12 today that more loons could even need help. We'll be getting them in, I think, for the next couple of days. Usually at events like this, sometimes people don't see them for a few days, and then they become more apparent. And if you do spot a, a loon in need of help, you are advised to call Reggie or your nearest wildlife rehabilitation center. They will be able to guide you through the entire process. As well, the biggest thing to remember is do not relocate them. Do not put them on any other lakes or retention waters because then they won't be able to get out and save themselves. Reporting live from Pelican Lake, Rachel Eiler, Newswatch 12. Early this morning, Merrill Fire and EMS was dispatched to a structure fire at the Lincoln Wood Windows plant. An employee noticed that fire when they arrived at work and reported it immediately. When crews arrived, they noticed smoke coming from a third story window. They called in help from nearby departments. Merrill firefighters say they used a ground ladder to access the third floor, help extinguish the fire. Merrill fire officials say they believe the fire was caused by a lightning strike during last night's storms. As life slowly returns to normal, one downtown Rhinelander business is making its return as well. We'll take a closer look at Tilly's reopening and what they have planned for this summer. But first, Jeff's in. He's tracking the possibility of some storms this evening. He has your full forecast after the break. News Watch 12 is brought to you by Bone & Joint Walk-In Care. Have you ever looked up how much of an appliance is made in the U.S.? At Maher Water Corporation, we use systems that are 90% made in the U.S. In fact, over 80% of the unit is made right here in the Midwest, and 
75% of the entire unit is made right here in our beautiful state of Wisconsin. Combining the local made product with a local family company means money spent here stays here. So call us today to meet our Wisconsin made family. Sullivan's Log Home Restoration and Remodel is your choice for log home maintenance, guaranteeing you a beautiful looking home. Sullivan's does their own milling and specializes in log replacements, sandblasting, staining, and chinking. With more than 30 years of business, Sullivan's is dependable and trustworthy, carefully tending to every detail on your home. Call us today for your free on-site estimate, Sullivan's Log Home Restoration and Remodel, serving Eagle River and the surrounding areas. Allergies don't have to be scary. Spraying Flonase daily stops your body from overreacting to allergens all season long. Psst, psst, all good. Truthfully, it's frustrating to see how fast dust reappears. But dusting with a cloth is a pain. And dealing with a bulky vacuum is such a hassle. Ugh. Ugh. So now we use our Swiffer Sweeper and dusters. The fluffy fibers, they pick up dust easily. Grabbing it in all those hard to reach places. Gotcha. And for our floors, Sweeper's textured cloths lock all kinds of dirt, dust, and pet hair. Unlike my vacuum, it sneaks under and around places. Look at that. Dust-free and hassle-free. Stop cleaning, start Swiffering. Go! Ah! Yeah, some corn. Oh, cool. Mm. Perky. You got to pick the cut you want off the beef trolley. In a crazy world, you need cozy TV. All right, your dog might be under the bed right now as showers and storms move into the area rather quickly. The radar is filling in as we speak, and here we are uh, across north central and northern parts of Wisconsin currently. Uh, the radar is filling in, so these are developing as we speak, and notice that they have lightning with them as well. Uh, that shows you there's updrafts within the storms, though they're developing and getting stronger and also increasing in coverage across our area now. So, Moving to the north and east, well, 35 miles per hour, nothing severe in here at the moment, and the severe weather threat's actually very low. However, a couple of these could get a little squirrely tonight with some very gusty winds, some hail in there as well, and uh, lightning too. Uh, speaking of hail, here's the hail tracker, and there's nothing showing up currently, and that's one of our biggest threats tonight because the air above us is really, really cold right now. Uh, that gives you intense temperature lapse rates, meaning uh, it could produce hail very quickly, and that's what we're watching for out there right now but for right now we're looking pretty good across our region so the hail threat site is there definitely a wind threat too uh, but more so a heavy rain event this evening as they'll train over the same areas over and over and over and over again a couple of you could see an inch or two of rainfall tonight after we saw an inch of rainfall yesterday in a few spots uh, could lead to localized flooding tonight so here's a bigger picture showing the um, sunshine we had a couple hours earlier today that's not good news for thunderstorms at all they like that heat getting through to the surface and the actual energy with this is back to the west of us across Minnesota. This will take all night to get across our area. So this is not going to get out of here quickly at all this evening. We have rain in the forecast overnight tonight, likely a break tomorrow for several hours, followed by more showers activity uh, through the day tomorrow as well. So here's the big uh, system surface map, a high pressure to our north and east. That's low number one right there. Low two is going to come through tomorrow. Once that does, It'll swing a front through as well and turn all this off. But until then, uh, they're going to ride along the front. And the air about around this front is crazy right now. Uh, to the north of the front is very cold. South of the front is very warm. And look at these temperatures across the area right now. It's 85 in Chicago. Meanwhile, it's 46 in Green Bay. Uh, the difference in temperature is fuel for storms. Uh, there's lots of energy in the atmosphere right now. And thus, we have weather out there as we speak. All right, closer to home, though, temperature-wise, it's 41 in Manitou waters 39 for Glidden. Meanwhile, it's 55 for Wausau. So the front is right across the area now, and that's our trigger for more showers and storms tonight. So here's your forecast then. Scattered showers and a couple of thunderstorms out there. Likely non-severe. However, a couple could get a little squirrely tonight with some very gusty winds, vivid lightning, and some small hail in there as well, with low temperatures down near 37. For tomorrow, it's Wednesday already, scattered rain showers tomorrow. So no thunder and lightning tomorrow. Just kind of drizzle and scattered rain showers.
showers off and on throughout the day with high temperatures near 55. And then looking ahead, your seven day forecast by Northwest Furniture and Mattress shows off and on showers tomorrow into Thursday morning. But then a front comes through, the wind picks up and we kind of dry out for Friday 55. Look at Saturday, 65 and sunny. Sunday, mostly cloudy with temperatures near 70. Justin? Looking good for the weekend. Thank you, Jeff. Tilly's in downtown Rhinelander is known as a popular spot for coffee or a bite to eat. But for much of this spring, they've been closed, largely due to the pandemic. However, now they are back open and they are ready for what they expect to be a busy summer season. News Watch 12's Cooper Henkel has details. Well, yesterday was raining and we had snow in the morning and we had a packed house, so that was exciting. <laughs> Closing the kitchen and moving their retail sales online kept Tilly's running, but reopening had to wait. We decided that we weren't going to reopen until all of our staff was vaccinated. While many Northwoods businesses are struggling to find staff, Murphy says she's had some employees return while bringing on fresh faces behind the plexiglass. And we have hired some new staff that's a few new to the area as well. Seating is still at half capacity and plenty of precautions are still in place. We're open seven to four, Monday to Friday and seven to three on Saturdays. And we still have our website where you can go online and order. Murphy plans to pick up where she left off pre pandemic, making Tilly's part of the downtown community. We're expanding our outdoor seating. Um, we hope to do some night events and just hope to see everyone that found us before and hopefully will find their way back here. In Rhinelander? I really feel we're going to be busy, so we, we expect a big bounce back. Cooper Henkel, Newswatch 12. Starting next month, Rhinelander residents will be able to celebrate the first ever Hodag Heritage Days. We'll take a close look at what is going into this event after the break. In America, the future belongs to everyone. So we built Ford Escape with an available head-up display and pre-collision assist. And Ford Edge with available enhanced active park assist and intelligent all-wheel drive. Both are 2020 IIHS top safety picks. That's value built for America. Ford SUVs, drive one today. Now, get 4,500 total cash on Ford Escape. That's an offer built for you from your Wisconsin and UP Ford dealers. Hi, I'm Joe. I'm from Alpaca. I came to see Dr. Sherry because I was having severe lower back pain. It was, it was so bad that I could only walk about 20 feet without having to sit down again. After seeing Dr. Sherry, I have absolutely no pain. Can't thank him and his staff enough. How do you thank somebody for giving your life back? Are you suffering with back or neck pain and considering the possibility of surgery? At the Spinal Aid Center of Wausau, we incorporate the latest technologies, including high-intensity laser therapy that provides the highest success rates in helping people just like you avoid back and neck surgery. With our treatments, there are no drugs and no surgery, just relief. Call today for a free spinal disc severity consultation and see if our treatments are right for you. Call 715-203-4392 or visit us at SpinalAid.com. Start living your life pain-free. Don't settle for products that give you a sort of white smile. Try new Crest Whitening Emulsions for 100% whiter teeth. It's highly active peroxide droplets. Swipe on in seconds. Better. Faster. 100% whiter teeth. CrestWhiteSmile.com. Gillette Pro Glide. Five blades and a pivoting flex ball designed to get virtually every hair on the first stroke. So you're ready for the day with a fresh face for a fresh start. For a limited time, get a fifth cartridge free. At Eagle Floor Covering in Eagle River, we have a knowledgeable staff, competitive pricing, and free estimates. Browse our selection of carpet, vinyl, wood, and tile for your next home project. At WJFW, our News Watch 12 news team works around the clock to bring you the news that matters most of all to the North Woods. Our team is committed to the community and ensuring that you are as informed as possible. NBC News Watch 12, news from where you live. Next month, folks in and around Rhinelander have a chance to showcase their Hodag spirit. 
the first ever Hodag Heritage Days event. Throughout the week of May 17th, the Rhinelander Chamber of Commerce is partnering with the Pioneer Park Historical Complex and the Hodag Store to host a series of events, including a Hodag bike tour and a Hodag parked parade. There's been some events in the past um, that haven't panned out as far as, you know, just community pride and things like that, and we want to bring it back. They'll both be in-person and virtual options to accommodate those who either aren't quite comfortable yet or may have a hard time attending in person. We want to celebrate. We want to give people the opportunity to come together virtually or in person, whatever people are comfortable with, and just celebrate our heritage and our, the community that we live in. Hodag Heritage. For more information on the event, you can visit the Chamber's website at rhinelanderchamber.com. Back with one final look at your forecast after this break. This Mother's Day, celebrate the mothers in your life. Show them how grateful you are that they have taught you to love unconditionally and shown you how to have your light shine everywhere you can. And you say, just because I love you, just because you're you, just because you're special. Tell them you love them with an everlasting flower or bouquet of flowers by nationally known artist Christine Alfrey. Ready to start planning your dream kitchen or bathroom? The specialists at Memories Kitchen and Bath are there to help. Get started browsing our showroom for ideas and inspiration. Choose from our full line of Schrock Kitchen and Bathroom Cabinetry or custom-built, Northwoods-inspired, reclaimed barnwood or rough sawn pine cabinets. Work with our experts to sketch out ideas, and before you know it, your design dreams will be a reality. When you're ready to start planning, talk with the specialists at Memories Kitchen and Bath in Eagle River. When you have nausea, heartburn, indigestion, upset stomach, diarrhea, Pepto-Bismol coats and soothes your stomach for fast relief. And get the same fast relief in a delightful chew with Pepto-Bismol Chews. Start your day with Secret. Secret stops sweat three times more than ordinary antiperspirants. The new pro-vitamin B5 formula is gentle on skin. With Secret, outlast anything. No sweat. Secret. No sweat. My name's Arthur, Merrill, Wisconsin. In August of 2019, I started getting numbness in my feet. By July of 2020, my feet were so numb, I lost a sense of balance, I thought I was walking on stilts. I seen this ad for Spinal Aid. I took 20 treatments from them, and, and by then my feet were 90% better and no longer felt as I was walking on stilts. Are you experiencing weakness, numbness, and or pain in your feet or hands? These sensations might even be affecting other areas of your body along with your balance. You might have already been diagnosed with peripheral neuropathy and are taking drugs such as Lyrica, Gabapentin, or Cymbalta that never seems to help. Neuropathy pain ultimately diminishes your quality of life. Call Spinal Aid of Wausau today to see if our treatment methods are right for you. Call 715-203-1508 to schedule your neuropathy severity consultation or visit us at SpinalAid.com. Join Justin Betty and Jeff Weller evenings at 5, 6, and 10 on News Watch 12. News and weather from where you live. Uh, Jeff, your radar map behind you keeps getting a little more colorful the longer Yeah, yeah. kind of some dark yellows in here right now, meaning heavy rainfall potentially across the area tonight. Already right now, a flood advisory for Lang Lake County. Uh, there's a storm kind of sitting over Lang Lake County right now, uh, dumping rain at the rate of like one or two inches per hour. So uh, that's the environment we're in tonight. A closer look in here now shows the whole area kind of expanding in coverage. So it's going to get loud around here this evening into tomorrow morning with scattered showers and a couple of thunderstorms now likely non severe. However, a couple of these could produce some very heavy rainfall, gusty winds near 40 to 50 miles per hour and some large hail tonight as well. So get ready for that along with our lightning and thunder too. Uh, right now the heaviest rains across Lang Lake County back to the west now across Price County as well, moving northeast at about 35 to 40 miles per hour. We got to get through all of this tonight, not ending until tomorrow morning before we finally break into some better weather on Friday with high temperatures back in the 50s and 60s this weekend. We've had a lot of wet weather recently. Yes, Looking forward to that can. weekend though. Thank mm -hmm. you, Jeff. Thank you for joining us on Newswatch 12 at 6. Wheel of Fortune is next. See you back here at 10 with more.